here in Vancouver, installing the first fair gates um, uh, for the whole system. And you see two of them right here in front of us. What you do is present your smart card to the target. Okay, that's a pretend smart card. Smart card. You tap the target. The target. This is called the, the target. target. Yes. The antenna. Yes. You tap the target. It will release the gate. And, and it'll walk through. through. Okay, well, can two people rush through at once? Uh, we have sensors that monitor how many times the fiends are broken. Right. And if two people go through in one pass, this will light up and set an alert to the uh, to the back office. Well, if it opens, you don't have to push it through or anything. <laughs> every gate, every system works differently. Does this take a little resistance? If it opens automatically. These open, these open automatically? Yes. Yes, these open automatically. Now, Vancouver's system is very happy with accessibility and stuff like that. They really pride themselves on the ability of the system to be accessible. I see the marks there, so you can go through in a wheelchair or with a stroller. No special gates required. This is an extra wide gate. The other ones are more narrow. Ah, so this is a wider model. Every station will have yes. obviously an accessible gate. Correct. There we go. Is there anything? It says up there. Is six there, gates, including two wild gates. Is there anything people should know about this, or is there any trick to using them? Or simple. Very simple. Straightforward. And it's used elsewhere around the world, All right? All over the world. Which where do, can we find models like this? Uh, this particular model is in Atlanta, Miami, Los Angeles, there are similar systems in Chicago, New York, London, Sydney. I see you have a bit of an innovation here. You'll have to be an Olympic high jumper to get over these gates, right? Well, that'll be a good reason. No fair evasion. Okay, thank you very much.